What I start off by telling families is that their child's brain is like a battery. It generates electricity. And so what an EEG does is it helps to listen and capture that electricity. And what we're trying to do is determine if the wave patterns that that electricity is producing look normal or abnormal. If they're having abnormal waveforms, that oftentimes will cause changes in behavior and changes in movement. So if you have an electrical short circuiting in your brain that causes your level of consciousness to be changed or if there is an abnormal movement associated with it, that's called a seizure. And so what we're doing with EEG is trying to be able to determine if any unusual spells that the family are seeing are actually representative of seizure. There's two ways to be able to do this. One is a very short study, one's a longer study. The short study is the routine EEG that we do in our offices, which takes anywhere from about 30 to 60 minutes. Now, that can give us a good sampling as to whether or not the brain is functioning well. But if we don't capture anything that suggests abnormality, or if we don't capture the spell that the family is concerned about, we're obviously going to need to do a longer study. And that's where ambulatory EEG comes in. An ambulatory EEG is one in which the patient comes into our office, gets hooked up to the equipment, but the equipment is small enough and light enough that they can go home, stay home for one to two days, and during that period of time, we gather more data, and hopefully, we've actually captured the spell that the family is concerned about.